What's going on guys? Welcome back. <laughs> it has been a while. It has been a while. It has been a while. I can't say that enough. But everybody should be busy around this time, right? Especially here in America. Should be busy. It's Thanksgiving, man. Happy Thanksgiving when it comes around. Because you're probably not going to see me. Because I will be with my family. Anyway, so it's Thanksgiving time. It's Black Friday the next day. So y'all know what it is. The big day, big day for me, big day for everybody, man. Whether you're buying stuff, whether you're selling stuff, it's a big day. Busy time, the day that I've been preparing for for the last two months, pretty much. Um, um, for myself on the business side, okay? So your boy has been busy. And I have not gotten a chance to really get around to doing reactions. I was just been trying to pump out what I can over the weekends. And also, finally, I get a chance to sit down and do some music reactions, man. And I've had some that I um, even got a, that I've recorded. Didn't get a chance to really upload them. But you guys are going to have them very soon. Very soon. <laughs> Anyways, um, today we're starting off these reactions, man. With the one and only Mr. Yellow Wolf. You guys already know. That guy has really impressed me with Bloody Sunday. You know. Um, so we're going to start off this. I'm going to do two of Yellow Wolves that was recommended to me. Um, that was suggested on the channel. And that is the Primus Freestyle. And also the um, to, to Whom It May Concern. I'll be doing those two today. So make sure you look out for them. Okay, so let's jump into this one. No more time wasting, man. I have not listened to music in a while. Well, I heard music, just the regular dumb stuff, <laughs> you know, but not from, not, you know, just passerby. But anyways, let's jump into this, man. Primus Freestyle. Let's get it. You already know, man, we're doing this one shot. No more applause, no more break in between. We just going straight into the reaction. No edits. No, nothing. So let's do this. All right. All right, it's Bloody Sun. Uh, not Bloody Sunday. Primus Freestyle. Yellow Wolf, making sure the volume is good. Making sure my volume is good on the headphones. So let me turn that up a bit. All right, let's do this. Okay. Alright kids. Come out and play. What kind of beat is this? Do you like I was gonna do one of those kind of freestyles. You know the jack for beat shit. Practical rapper speed dial. Automatic attention and sniff out an MP3 file. Murder it, throw a dead body at your feet and say see how. But then I thought, hey, what the fuck is the use? I got drunk and listened to Primus and took it into the stool. I looped it up for a minute, then grabbed the pen and began. And these minutes and mental sentences started syllable groups. That's over the top. I'm too explanatory, but my catalog of music is well mandatory. Ooh. Wanna appreciate what I made on that love story? Look at my history, the big history of recording, cause I popped out the woods like a pine cone. Dropped in that Alabama time zone. Got the shotgun and the microphone. Oops, pop the trunk, now your mind's gone. Understand. Oh, I like the fusion. I like that fusion. You don't hear beats like this very often. That is crazy that he's rapping on a beat like this because it doesn't it's it's like a fusion between hip hop and what do you what would you call it? Hip hop and, and rock. It's it's a hip hop and rock fusion but it just kind of it blends so well the beat the beat itself and then the way how he's rapping on it like he's also a cadence master and that's why that's why I, that's what i like about yellow wolf too is that is you can't follow you can't necessarily follow him follow with him during his rapping because he'll he'll switch he'll switch it up on you Whenever you think you got his cadence down, he'll switch it. He's very unorthodox with his with his cadence. That's what makes him so interesting, at least to me. Let's back that up a little bit. Right. 
the trunk, now your mind's gone. To understand who I was before hip hop, you gotta picture this little bitty ass idiot running around with a hideous group of sin and oblivious hicks, smoking a roach and then sniffing gas out of Hemi's with garden hoses, poking holes into my old jeans. One of those nightmarish, impossible teens. But I was a young prophet to be seen, listening to some skinner than Ozzy than Billie Jean. Hmm, somebody should have seen my great escape, 'cause I went from pressing my troubles to pressing play on the tape. My appetite for destruction was pushing me to my fate, and then the Beastie Boys put me up on that 808. <laughs> It's all the way to a I can fucking see it. Two thousand people in front of me singing what I'm singing. This redneck slow shit mixed with this shit's amazing. What a concept! Well, my name is Mud. Damn right, Mr. Claypool. I couldn't have said it better. You're like an angel. I'm not as accepted as I expected. Through my perspective in front of the sexes, and I didn't get elected. Like Charlemagne the God fucking hates me. Man, wish I felt accomplished by having such a prestigious, overachieving genius like Charlemagne to complain about me. Why can't somebody who's really done something doubt me? That's hard luck. Fuck it. I'm used to kicking buckets. I'm used to picking up sticks for the general public. I don't know how being white is such a sensitive subject. It ain't like I'm the kind of white like a Jimmy Buffett, a motherfucking geek, undeserving. The credibility, I'm really the most of these rappers ever was and will it be? I don't sell dope and I don't ask why. I don't pin for quotes and I don't sell lies. Well, I wore many changes, many so weird. He went from wearing a mohawk to. Mm. Now you really gotta listen to these guys when they rapping a lot of times because they speaking facts out here, man. And that's the thing, like I I, I just don't understand, like the 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 acceptance you get what i'm saying the acceptance it's just like how you got some 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 dudes coming out nowadays talking about eminem doesn't belong in hip-hop and i'm like huh <laughs> you know what i'm saying like eminem has been probably doing this longer than you've been born and you're like eminem doesn't belong in hip-hop bruh like come on man like When it comes on to somebody like like Yellow Wolf, like I'm just now getting put on to his music. And I like his music. I like how unorthodox he is and how he tries to to kind of blend music a lot. And is as I said before, his cadence is so good. And his tone on beats is so good. Like he just fits in. And when it comes on to music, man, it's always good to hear something different. It's always good to hear somebody's, some other people's perspective. That's, you know, the essence of music, man, is that you can tell a story from no matter who you are. You can tell a story through music. You get what I'm saying? No genre belongs to anyone. No specific genre belongs to anyone specifically. These are all genres of music that, you know, the, the, that people of old have created and say, okay, this belongs in that, this category and this belongs in this category. And we've come to know and love these types of music. That's my love for music. You know, my love for music has always come from different sources from different genres that I've been exposed to. There are genres that have been exposed to that I don't really like particularly, but I still kind of accept the fact that they're there and other people like them. They wouldn't exist if people didn't like them. There are music out there that are really seriously sad. Like I can't listen to people, to, to people like Billy, uh, what's her name? Billy Eilish or Eilish or whatever. Like I can't listen to her music because her music is, For me, it's depressing. You get what I'm saying? Like, the kind of music that she makes, in my opinion, like, it may be uplifting to certain people, but for me, it's quite depressing. And the reason why is this is is, is just, like, and also, the, the, you know, I'm not picking on her or anything like that. It's, it's not what this is about. I'm just talking about, like, you're exposed to certain kind of music, but you may not like it. You get what I'm saying? You may not like it because you, you're not there to enjoy every type of music. But to say a artist doesn't deserve to, to to do that type of music because of their skin color, because of their tone, because of how they sound, it, it it's dumb. It's stupid. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because all in all, she would not 
be famous. You know what I'm saying? If, she, if people didn't like her, she wouldn't be famous. So I can't sit here and say nobody enjoys your music because I don't enjoy your music. People do enjoy your music. So that's just what it is. Pull that back. That's why I don't pin for quotes and I don't sell lies. Straight up. Many changes, many so weird. He went from wearing a mohawk to fucking rocking a beard in a year. And now he's over that. What is he gonna do? And I saw him on Instagram and he's rocking some cowboy boots. I feel great. You should get a pair. My DJ's got a pair of rattlesnake skin boots. He's out of here. We like being not like you. That's the point. Besides, I look amazing. Baby, roll me a joint. <laughs> Straight and up. I don't even smoke no more. I just feel like Willie Nelson more than I have before. So turn the music up a motherfucking tad bit more. And prepare yourself for another shady smash, of course. I ain't one of these artists clearly. It's thick and they never change I love opening doors Exploring parts of my brain Reflected externally Through my clothes, views, and style And it takes a hell of a heart To do it in front of a crowd Pardon me while I start a new chapter Inside my book It's a feeling of pure enjoyment To see you another the hook To look on your face When you hear it The shit that I create It's amazing And I can feel it Believe it, I can relate But don't be a hater On the fucking clock Trimming fat takes time Just wait, watch These rappers really think They got shit locked but they gon' know about me when my album drops. Love story. 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 Love He's different. He's different, and he has blends. It's one of the is one of the reasons why I love Up Church. Also, because they're bringing something different. Kind of th their music kind of unites. You get what I'm saying? Unites people that are coming from different genres, and enjoy those different genres. And they're kind of molding that stuff together. Because I didn't even know that country rap existed <laughs> you get what i'm saying like i know because a lot of people want to try to say that nelly is a country rap artist and i'm like i don't know that's a stretch in my opinion in my opinion i think that's a stretch because tradi if you're talking about blending traditional country with hip-hop nelly is not it <laughs> if, if 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 you you know what i'm saying like there's people that say that now that I've, you know, having these discussion with people about country rap, they're like, oh, country rap has been around for a while, you know, and it, they would name Nelly, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm like, Nelly, I mean, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> Nelly, that's the Nelly you're talking about, the, the country rapper. I'm like, maybe he just happens to come from the country. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Because he's from St. Louis, right? I think he's St. Louis, I think. So maybe he just happens to come from the country, but it wasn't a blend of being a country rapper. It was more of like, you know what I'm saying? Like there wasn't any fusion there. It was more of like he just happens to be from the country, you know, if you want to put it like that. But in any case, I, you know, if he is a country rapper, who, who knows? I'm just saying, in my opinion, it just seems kind of like a reach. You know what I'm saying? Um, maybe I've listened to certain artists that were considered country rappers, just didn't know it. I don't know. But anyways, when it comes on to Yellow Wolf, man, I enjoy his music very much. Um, the two freestyle I've listened to him now, I'm going to be look, um, checking out to, he, to whom it may concern. Uh, from the information that I have about that song is basically that they were saying that he's racist. And all of this other stuff. So he kind of did this song to to answer those questions, right? So I'm going to go check that out. So make sure you leave a like, leave a comment on this video. And make sure you check out all the reactions that are going to come out. I got a lot of them online. They're going to come out in the next couple of days. Because, of course, I can't put them all out at once. I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> so I have... A bunch unlock already and this is what I'm doing is just some additional stuff to it so just look for them to keep dropping and dropping in the upcoming days um, so I've scheduled some of them to be out on Thanksgiving so that the channel doesn't go that dry again because I'm like why would I release all of them at once doesn't really make sense so 
thank you guys so much for tuning in as always and i will see you guys for the next one peace